I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you guys want a legit shop tour. You guys have obviously seen little bits of the shop, but not the whole thing. So I really want to take you guys in depth with the full shop tour and give you guys an exclusive look of like the whole layout and everything that happens and everything we have gone. Cause let me tell you, it is jam packed of every inch in that place. So let's get into it. <laughs> walk in you get a nice view of the whole shop but the best part about the shop when you enter in is the missing piece of flooring and that's because me and Chase built it ourselves or put it together ourselves literally never put floor down never laid floor neither me or Chase so we're out here just hammering wood along trying to get this thing done little did we know floor in North Carolina expands a lot we knew it expanded a little bit and there's a chance of it so we left a couple inches for it did not work out it ended up expanding like six inches and so we had to take a piece of floor out call this more my little hangout area when I have nothing to do while Chase is editing. I get this nice couch from Facebook Marketplace. Oh, oh Miller, Miller doesn't edit? Oh, 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 oh when oh, Miller's here. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when Miller's here, he's editing too. But I'm usually chilling on the couch on my computer. It's actually a really comfy couch for 100 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. Got off some college dude down in Charlotte. We were supposed to have a TV for this beautiful stand. Look how beautiful this TV stand is. Like, even the nice the nice sign above it. We're supposed to have a beautiful TV. Instead, we got a helmet rack. <laughs> Literally, the stands. This is a perfect helmet rack. It is though. a good, good helmet rack. Yeah, it's per perfect for cups and goggles. <laughs> I really like the whole vibe of having like neon lights around, kind of like a man cave vibe. But obviously, I'm a girl. But man cave vibe. That's my vibe that I like. So we decided to throw a bunch of neon lights right here. Hotel California. That's from California, so we had to get that one. Route 66. But I feel like it just like lights the whole place up. Like it's a little dingy. Everything's kind of neutral and then just the lights put it all together. As we move down this way, you guys can obviously see this is where Chase and Miller edit. I'm gonna let Chase better explain it because this is his cup of tea. So when we first built this shop, we literally only had one desk and that was before we decided to hire Miller on board. We got two setups now. We he, stole that one from our apartment. Yeah, we definitely stole this one. This was definitely in my apartment. I got another one for the house. Miller's got his own setup here. We, we try to keep both setups pretty similar. That way we're pretty good at being interchangeable between footage, uh, between anything. You know, if I have to get on his computer and do anything or he needs to get on mine, everything's set up the same. So we have two pretty identical setups. I run everything off of a laptop. That way when we travel, we go to races, different things like that. We go out for two weeks. I can take it all and uh, and go do my editing there. Miller has his own laptop while he's here. He's got a full built PC. So you might be wondering why we have guards <laughs> uh, literally and More flooring. <laughs> These were left over from the garage floor. We'll just get to it in a little bit. But one day when we were sitting here, I guess Rambo decided that he was going to start attacking the cords behind. So instead of telling him no, we just decided to to box everything off. I have, a, as he's eating paper right right now. Up here we got kind of where I keep my camera at. Haley's holding it right now, but I got my headphones, my microphone, um, my monitor, all kinds of good stuff like that. Move a little bit further, we get to the GoPro setup. We do any GoPro stuff, we have Hero 9s. We have five of them. I got two Hero 8s as well. All the microphone stuff, we use the media mods. I tend to like those a lot better plug the mic in, hook it in. Bottom row is just a charging station. We have a total of 14 GoPro batteries here. Um, but that's our little charging station down there. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the editing studio. We take a moment to get the paper out of our child's mouth. He, gets, he knows, he knows when he has something he shouldn't. Cause look, see how like stiff he gets? Hi, we're gonna be sweet boy. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna be sweet boy. Oh God. I'm being nice. Oh. Look, watch. Got it. Good boy. Oh, you're so sweet. I know, you're so nice. Oh. Not only is this my favorite thing in the shop, but this is literally everyone that comes in the shop is favorite thing. Like, if you sit on this, I wish you guys could truly experience it. 
the best Amazon purchase ever. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. It's like laying on a cloud. I'd say one thing that like I feel like ties kind of shops together is cool moments of your career, things that happen, things you get to do. And I feel like this is one of the coolest moments in kind of the YouTube side of things. I gotta go to Cletus's Freedom 500 race. The day after was Cletus and Cars. And I gotta go mob around the go grocery getter, which was, it was just a funny, funny thing is an inside joke, but everyone, an inside joke that went very outside. <laughs> The newest addition to the shop is actually the gym. I just got a sponsorship with True Grit and they absolutely hooked it up with all my favorite gym equipment things. Obviously we got squat rack, we got Chase's bench right here so he can actually do some bench stuff. We needed some time off, treadmill. I'm not a huge fan of running, but I know I need it. So we got a treadmill, of course. And then just our simple weights and everything. And of course, Chase's favorite thing, organization and scheduling. He's the best at that. So he's got a full list of everything we're doing, everything we have coming up, everything we have planned. And so he keeps that in order pretty good. And when I tell you my arms are sore from folding shirts, I really mean it. Literally the past two days, we've been hammering down on getting all this merchandise folded. With that being said, back here, as you can tell, is the merchandise section where Mo usually hangs out. We got him a matching chair with everybody, so you felt included. <laughs> but he comes back here, gets all the merch done. As you can tell, he's gotten a lot done today. And so he knocks all that stuff out. So I feel like everyone has their like little corners of the shop that they work in. It's cool, because it's like all split up to like almost your own office. This is kind of the area where we just store everything, just keeping it all organized by sizes, colors, everything. It's as organized as it can be. And this is the computer station where he goes over here, prints the labels. As you can tell, we have a lot of labels in stock because we're always running out of them and we always have a lot of things to package. So he goes over here, gets that done, then takes it over here, puts it in the poly miller, puts the label on it, makes sure it's all nice and neat, and then takes it and tosses it in this pile. So you can tell he's gotten a lot done today. He's been knocking some ores out. This is actually the new drop that we just released on shophaleydegan.com so you guys can actually go after this video. Check it out. This shop wouldn't be a shop without some fun toys in it. So over here, we got the one wheels. These are cool for just ripping around. Like if you wanna go somewhere real quick, if I go to like DGR, I can rip the one wheel over there. So it makes it like super convenient and easy when you wanna get somewhere quick. But when we get to the nice stuff is over here. I really wanted to make this shop something where like people can come over, our friends, and hang out and have a good time, not just like us being here working 24 seven. I want it to be a fun environment. So when we have the whole crew here hanging out, we obviously throw down on some ping pong. Maybe we'll play some on a little bit later. And then we have the air hockey table, and Kyle actually makeshifted the ping pong thing right there since we got a Facebook marketplace, he drilled a hole in it, so we actually have a net. As soon as you see the floor transition from wood to the plastic garage flooring, that's when we get into the really cool cars. We have a bunch of cool cars here and I feel like one of our coolest, newest things is actually a DGR because it wouldn't fit in here. We're maximized on space and trying to fit a box truck in a shop does not work this size. But we've got really cool things like this bar store cart that we've been working on, American flag, it's called the Freedom Cart. We need to order a new bar so ours is ripped for it. But this is almost done getting put together. But I'm gonna let Chase go into the micro because that's his cup of tea. So recently, if you've seen a lot of videos, we had things a lot different laid out in the shop. We had cars lined here, and then it'd be the barstool cart, pit bikes, Can-Am, but we've decided to change things around uh, and kind of give the micro its own bay. And I know a lot of people have been asking in the comments, what's going on with the micro? What's going on with the micro? More micro content. Um, it's been a process, it's been really uh, a long process to get everything here, uh, but now that we got everything here, we're just waiting on one last crucial piece, which is the motor. The seat's mounted, the body's mounted, everything is done, it's all squared, we're just waiting for the last piece, which is the motor. So. Uh, once we get that in, which will be this week, we'll be able to throw it in there, get everything ready, and uh, get ready to go to the racetrack. Everything is in the process of just getting built, um, especially on the micro side. We've made a lot of progress on it, but we still just got the last crucial part, which is the motor. If you guys saw, if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, you guys saw us install these bad boy cabinets. It um, was a process. <laughs> this is what really tied, I think, the whole shop together, tied the shop, the the garage side of the shop together was was putting in these nice modular cabinets. They are perfect size. They got a nice color to them. So 
Uh, we've got them stretched out 33 feet across from, from end to end, uh, stacked full of craftsman tools. We've got a bunch of space as we move down this way. We've got a go-kart that we're gonna put Miller in. Oh, we are? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna put Miller in this cart <laughs> eventually. That's um, actually a really I, good idea. I've had this for a long time and I brought it to the shop to steal the axle to build the barstool cart. And I was like, gonna just give it away. Decided, you know what, let's put Miller in it. Mo actually stores one of his bikes in here, the Grom. I actually rode it to DGR. It's so much fun. I might have to make an investment to get one of these because I really enjoyed it. I feel like it'd be fun to like ride to the shop every day. It's only like three miles down back roads. Ride to the shop every day on this thing, I'd have to get my biker's license, so. And then we have our beautiful pit bikes. Chase just got a new wrap on his. We forgot to order mine, so I'm gonna be running bear graphics at the pit bike race, which is okay, keep it undercover, keep it low key. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces to the shop, and I feel like it's a cool vehicle just to honestly have in here for when people walk in because it's just like so big and aggressive and it just looks so cool. And now that it's really clean, it looks a lot better. But the Can-Am, and we always take this everywhere. I have so much fun at the Can-Am. I feel like it's something that is easy to throw on a trailer. You can literally rent a trailer for like a hundred bucks a day since I don't have one just yet and we're not done with the box truck. We ran a trailer for like a hundred bucks a day, go take this out to tracks, go rip it around, and you just power wash it off, throw gas in it, and it's all good. I feel like it's so simple, but so much fun to use. I feel like it wouldn't be a true shop tour unless we had some dumb competition to end it with. So we're gonna be playing a tournament round of ping pong. I'll go first against Miller. Whoever loses obviously will be knocked out. That person will play against Chase. No, 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 no. That's not the way it should work. You should play Miller, and then the loser plays me, and if I lose or whatever... Is that how tournaments work? That would be the correct way, because otherwise that means I'm I just advancing to the final. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Send it. <gasps> Wait, does that count? Yeah. Yeah? How does that count? It doesn't matter. You gotta get serious, Miller. Check it on you, dude. Your, your butt cheeks like split this edge perfectly. Like the whole, the whole corner piece right here disappeared in between his butt cheeks. He's <laughs> making sure you're good. Buddy, I'm good, buddy, I'm good, buddy. He's like, oh, what's that? With all that happening, that is the end of the shop tour. So I know this was a little bit slower video, but I really wanted to just give you guys an in-depth of what goes down every single day of our life at this shop because we are literally here almost every single day. So hope you guys liked it. Be sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out Club HD, check out shophaleydegan.com. And remember, if you sign up for Club HD, you save money on merchandise. So we'll see you next time. Cause you're my demon in disguise. I learned